In this class, we will discuss about application of Gauss law. We have already seen what is a Gauss law in the previous lectures. Let us try to understand this figure. It is given that there is a line having the line charge density as rho L of let us say infinite length and we have to find the surface charge density. Now from the Gauss law we know that Q is equal to d dot ds over the surface. Now in this case we are going to take the cylindrical coordinate. Now so Q would be equal to there should be a sides there will be three sides there will be a side there will be a top and there would be a bottom. So we are going to take one side ds plus there should be a top ds that should be bottom ds. Now what about the displacement flux density? Now as we know that the displacement flux density will be always pointing in a radially outward direction. So if this is the line charge it would be radially outward it would be radially outward but so in the top part it would be what it would be 0 for the bottom part again it would be 0. So assume this is the line so it would be pointing radially outward to all the points but for the top it would be 0 for the bottom it would be 0. So for the top it would be 0 so basically it would be the d would be 0 and for the bottom the d would be 0 so we are going to say it is a 0. So the only part it exists is for the sides part. So we are going to say d so q is equal to so we are going to take the cylindrical coordinate system so it would be d in cylindrical coordinate it would be let us say what we are going to take we are going to take rho d phi dz this is a surface integral in cylindrical coordinate. So from what unit the z is varying z is varying from 0 to l. So it is z is varying from 0 to l for what angle the phi is varying phi is varying from angle 0 to 2 pi. So if I integrate what I will get this I will get q is equal to what I will get is d 2 pi rho and l. So d would be nothing but q divided by 2 pi rho l. So we have concluded the displacement flux density for this 